Hi, writers. Welcome to Writer's Workshop. I know we haven't done this in a very long time, but we're going to give it a shot now that we're into phase two and um, we're going to see how it goes. So let's get started and sit up straight and one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're ready. All right, so before we left school, we had three days where we were talking about our new writing unit of poetry. So that's what we're going to be working on is going back to our poetry unit. So the first three lessons are going to seem very familiar, um, but then we'll get to move on to more exciting stuff. So our first day of poetry, we had little boxes on the table of some normal stuff that you see around the classroom or around your house. Um, and we were looking at them in different ways. And so we had talked about how some people need contacts or glasses to be able to see better. And I put on those really cool red glasses and those are stuck at school. I don't have those, but I do have my regular glasses. And we had talked about what poets do and it's kind of like they put on their own poet glasses and they look at the world in new and different ways. And so today, officially what I wanted to teach you was, is that poets see with their poet eyes and poets look at things with their hearts and their minds and poets write about the world in different and unusual ways. So you might remember our um, poem about the pencil sharpener. And this is by Zoe Ryder White. And she wrote about a pencil sharpener. And she says, I think there are a hundred bees inside the pencil sharpener. And they buzz and buzz and buzz until my point is sharp. So I thought that was really cool. And I don't think about pencil sharpeners like Zoe describes it. I just think of it as a little thing you plug into the wall and it sharpens my pencil. So Zoe kind of really looked at it with her poet glasses on and saw something new and different. And she looked at it in a fresh way. So she imagines that there's bees living in there and we know that's not true, but it's kind of fun to think about. And that's what poetry is. It's just a fun way to think about something in a different angle. So we're going to open our eyes to see things in different ways today. Okay. So I just grabbed a few things from around my house, right? Things that people just have laying around. Things that are just kind of normal, boring things. Apples, blocks. I've got keys. I've got batteries, lots of weird things. And they're just kind of normal. And normally we just kind of look at them with our regular eyes, you know, and say, that's what they are. And I know what they're for. But poets put on their poet glasses and really think about the world and those things in different ways. So, you know, we can think about, oh, yes, this is just something you use to mix up when you're baking. Or you could think about it as like, it's like a little jail for somebody. Like you could put them inside of it. And I think we had a lot of success with this one in our basket at our table. And we kind of picked it up and looked at it and kind of saw it in different ways. Like maybe it could be like a butterfly, right? Or I could see a fish. Or a lot of people saw a shark because they also thought about what do they do, right? They kind of snap. So, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you today um, a, a, a poem that I am going to write. And I kind of wanted to show you going forward um, what I kind of want you to have ready every day for your writer's workshop. All right, so what I have is I just have some blank sheets of paper here, and um, I do have a black pen. I, I do love those, so 
if you have one, it would work. Otherwise, pencils are fine. Regular pens are great. It doesn't really matter. That's the fun part about poetry is it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bind these together. And you could do it with pencil, um, I'm sorry, paper clips, staplers, doesn't really matter. And you can make this as fancy as you want. Um, but this kind of can be where you're collecting your poetry every day. So here's my poetry by Mrs. Jerkins. So then you just kind of open and that's the fun part is look around your house kind of and see what do you see um, around your house that you could write about. Um, something that you can touch, turn over, look at think about. So, um, any old thing, it could be something living, a sibling or a pet. doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually going to use the thing that helped me make the book. I'm going to use the stapler. So I kind of look at it, think about what it's for, move it a little that's always fun so i'm gonna write my title is gonna be really simple i'm gonna write the stapler put a line underneath it and then i'm just gonna write about what i think about this thing and i'm gonna think about those poet eyes and what i'm gonna think about it in new and different ways so i can say Paper cruncher. Holds them together. And pinches them. Ouch. Right? I mean, he puts holes through it. So then I can just put my stapler to the side and I can grab a block. I can grab a measuring spoon and I can write another poem. And so I'm thinking maybe three to five poems today real quick, real easy. And um, let me know how you did. And I'll see you next time. Bye.